This is Triple Divide Peak in Montana. Triple Divide Peak is special because rain and melting snow can flow west to the Pacific Ocean, north to the Arctic Ocean, or east to the Atlantic Ocean. And this is us. We're four friends following the water from Triple Divide Peak, 3,500 miles by canoe to the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. This is the story of our rivers on the river. Welcome back to On the River. This week, we're exploring the water cycle. We're traveling downstream with water on a part of the water cycle called runoff. Runoff is kind of like a highway that we're using to go from the source to the sea. We're going to explore the water cycle, which happens over and over and over again, and we're going to start with the smallest part of the water cycle, the H2O molecule. Hi, I'm H2O, and I travel each part of the water cycle. Sometimes it's a roller coaster, and other times it's a slow motion movie. I travel a snow and rain called precipitation down to the earth, where gravity carries me downhill into rivers and lakes. This is called runoff. That H2O molecule is radical. As water travels down, some of it gets gobbled up by plants and animals. Plants use that water to grow, but the cycle continues because plants sweat out that water and we call that transpiration. This is one way water travels to the clouds. The rest of the water continues to flow downhill to the ocean as it's pulled by gravity. Animals, including us, drink water. When an animal gobbles up water, that water is trapped in the body until it continues along the cycle. I can also evaporate, which is when I get to fly up into the air. Ah! Another way that water goes to the clouds is through evaporation. Evaporation is when the sun warms water and turns it from a liquid state to a gas state. I can also warm the water on my stove. Whee! There's our little buddy. That H2O molecule is out of sight. When the H2O molecule reaches high enough into the air to cool down, it sticks to a particle, turns back into a liquid, and forms the clouds. This is called condensation. Think of a cold glass of water. Have you ever seen the water droplets that form on the outside? That moisture on the outside of the glass was water in the gas state that cooled down enough to condense. We call that process condensation. That's how clouds are formed. Condensation across the nation? That little H2O molecule is a multi-talented sensation. And then I go round again, back down to the rivers and lakes via precipitation. The water cycle is complete. I hope there's more. I was really starting to like this little guy. Not exactly. There is more. Some water travels through the rocks and soil in a process called infiltration. This is the slow motion part that I've been auditioning for. Ah! Water collects in underground streams, rivers, and even underground lakes called aquifers. Water can be stored in aquifers for years and years. Water can also be stored in glaciers. Remember, glaciers are really big, frozen rivers of ice. Ice? Glaciers? Aren't those things really scarce? Actually, fresh water is really scarce on our planet. Most of the water on our planet is salt water. In fact, only about 3% of the water on our planet is fresh water. So it would be kind of like if my body was all of the water on the planet, most of me would be salt water, except my toes. And if my toes are all of the fresh water on the planet, only maybe my little tiny gross tiny toes would be the amount of water we can drink because the rest is locked up underground or in glaciers. 
But I'm not a toe, I'm H2O. Wow, that H2O molecule is unique. On every peak? In every creek? Even when animals take a leak? What a cycle. Let me see if I got this right. Water falls as precipitation and forms creeks and rivers. As gravity pulls that water downhill, it continues to flow, sometimes through plants and animals. On its way down, the sun heats up that water and it evaporates. As it evaporates, it rises up into the sky and forms clouds. And in that way, it goes around and around and around and around and around and around. Hey, Aaron, oh. I think you yeah. understand the water cycle. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Good job, man. Yay! Wow. Yay! Join us next week when, when we take five on the river. river.